Hi everyone, welcome to my latest knitting adventure, aka yet another knitting mistake. I'm working on a shawl, and all of those rows of mesh are supposed to be the same. Um, can you t see the problem? <laughs> yeah, who knew eyelet mesh, which would be uh, yarn over, knit two together, could be so darn challenging. But when you're working on a shawl, an asymmetric shawl, and you're increasing stitches along the right and decreasing them along the left, and you say, miss a knit one before you start your knit two together yarn overs, or yarn over knit two together, then you end up knitting the wrong two stitches together. And you end up with columns of stitches that are leaning in a way not intended by the designer of the shawl. Let me show you what I mean here. The top swatch is the way the designer intended. The bottom swatch, and do you see how it, the stitches, the columns of stitches are leaning towards the increase side here? The bottom, those are leaning away from it. Yeah. So what did I do? Well, I was knitting the knit stitch together with the yarn over that followed it. So that caused the columns to lean left instead of right. And I was supposed to be knitting the yarn over together with the knit stitch that followed it. So yarn over, then the knit, those two together instead of knit, then yarn over, those two together. Now, the funny thing was, that I was able to get through the first row and most of the second before I realized that there was a problem. Yeah, this got me to pondering the nature of charts and patterns. I'm not necessarily a visual person. I don't, I like charts, but words are great too. But in this particular case, even though this was such a simple pattern, the chart would have helped me realize much earlier than 600 stitches that I was on the wrong track. So, um, yeah, and I have to say, when I read through the pattern, I was like, oh, this is simple. And I noted, oh, there's no chart. And I thought, that's fine. It's a simple pattern. Not, no need for it. Yeah, I was mistaken. A chart would have definitely helped me stay on track or realize that I had gone off track. All right. So that's my little blurb about charts and their usefulness their, for increasing usability of patterns. Um, I'm not sure if I will rip back <laughs> and do the whole thing over or if I will leave this as part of my knitting journal and um, you know refer to it as I'm wearing it and go oh yeah I remember that crazy time yeah a knitting journal it's kind of like a, a written journal but in knitting and you don't erase your writing journals right so I don't know but that's a story for another time anyway Consider charts the next time you're designing a pattern, even if it seems really like a really simple pattern. Um, don't underestimate how powerful uh, a chart can be for helping people stay on track, even with a seemingly simple pattern. Thanks.